Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the cloud generator that I made um, based on my last video. So it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, if you're interested in how I made this cloud generator, you can watch that video. In this video I'm going to showcase this cloud generator. As you can see, you can drag it in from your asset browser and you can just plug it in and you instantly get the clouds. So I don't know why, but the settings didn't match the one that I set. So right now it has some height. Let's set the height to zero. As you can see, we instantly get some clouds. They can maybe use some less thickness, maybe some more. You can play around with how thick each cloud is. And you can play around with how dense the clouds are. So you can make them very not dense and very dense, which I think, which I think looks uh, cooler. And you can uh, change how many clouds there are and the scale of them, basically. And uh, if I just change this to a sky texture for some more interesting lighting, and set the color management exposure a bit down. You can see how nice these clouds look. Now what you can also do is um, use them as a it's kind of a clouds in the sky. So when I size it down and then size it up without uh, sizing it up on the Z axis, you can see that you get some nice clouds in the sky. So you can use this for uh, sky clouds as well. And you can still play around with the uh, thickness, the density of the clouds, so you can make a not so cloudy day, very cloudy day, uh, very thick clouds, very thin clouds, you can change how many little, lot of little clouds or just uh, one massive cloud and you can change even the color so you can make them a bit darker or maybe uh, the sun is coming up and you want it to look even more uh, like the sun is coming up. Um, but you don't even have to do that because if I lower the sun rotation here at its uh, sunset, you can see that if I remove transparent, the sun is right there. But if I lower it, you can see that the clouds change into that orange color, especially around that side. And you can scale it up a bit more, maybe play around with the seed, a bit more scale, density, thickness. You can see how uh, powerful this can be. You can still change the height, but that's not really necessary. So you can also keep it like a, like a square and then change the height to get kind of the same result as before. But then um, the clouds will still have a thickness to them. So instead of uh, doing it like this, when the, the clouds will be squashed, you can uh, leave them like this. But the thing is, uh, you need to set them really high uh, in order for it to look realistic which you, because you can't really see the thickness of the clouds. So you have to set them higher, make it a little bit bigger and make sure to uh, change your uh, end clipping of your view and the end clipping of your camera in the uh, camera settings to get um, so that the clouds aren't clipping out of your view. So that's basically it for the cloud generator. And if we look inside of it, this is basically what I did in my other video. And I added a, a little bit extra to better control it. And you can get it for free on my Gumroad. You can find the link to my Gumroad down below and just download the cloud generator and get this for free. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, maybe consider liking and subscribing and uh, then I'll maybe see you next time. Bye.